Psalm chapter 68, verse 17, and it reads, The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, ain't no denying it now. The spaceships, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord, you can't deny them now. You see the date of the article, January the 12th, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. This could very well be the year where Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, cracked the clouds with the thousands of heavens, man. The thousands of heaven, right? Chariots on top of chariots, chariots on top of chariots, chariots, spaceships, spaceships, spaceships. The curse that go forth over the earth, man. All right. Let's read this. U.S. government has received more than 350 new so-called UFO reports, spaceship reports, man. Th this year, man. All right. You, look, you can't deny it, man. You see, they try to hide it for a long time. And the government knows that those um, beings that's with inside those vehicles are not green. They, they seen the beans within those vehicles, man. And the dark skinned men, so called black men. You see? We look, look, with, with afros. You see? You had one um, Edomite devil, you know what I'm saying? Say so he seen the beans coming out the ships. Said so it was real tall. Real tall. They said he seen one of the ships land and some beans just walked out of it, man. The woman said, um, what they look like? The dude said, dark. See, he, said, he, said, he said, real dark. You see? So, 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 rap now, everything is, is coming to pass, man. As the Lord said it was, remember, none of these shall fail, man. Let's read this again. And we're going to read a little bit into the article. But we're here, man. We're here now. Psalm 68, and then those vehicles are not coming to play. Those spaceships, you see, those so called UFO, the chariots of the Lord, they're not coming to play any games either. You see? Psalm 68 and 17, the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels, man. The chariots are going to flood the sky soon come. He had chariots fly past us last night at camp. You see, we, we know they real the spaceships, man. Our deliverance, remember the strangeness of their salvation, right? The Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, is among them. And he's going to be riding in the biggest spaceship known to mankind. Ezra said it was the size of a mountain, all right? And then NASA, you know what I'm saying, cut the feed, you know what I'm saying? I think it was last year of a, of a chariot, of a spaceship, you know what I'm saying, coming coming close to Earth. And it was a couple times the size of Earth. It was a chariot bigger than the Earth. Well, look, what are you people going to do with that? A vehicle the size of the Earth? What the hell can you shoot, you know what I'm saying, to bring that down? Something the size of an Earth. A couple of times the size of an earth, man. What are you going to do with that, man? Lord, look, matter of fact, let's just get this right. We're going to read it a little bit in the article. I want to get this, though. I just want to get this, though. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. The word revelation means to reveal, right? The Lord is about to reveal himself, man, with the heavenly host. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, which means to look. He comes with clouds. Representing the chariots, the spaceships, the so-called UFO. That's how the Lord is coming back, right? And every eye shall see him because the chariot is going to be, be that big. The spaceship, in layman terms, so you're going to understand what I'm saying because you don't understand the term chariot. You understand the word spaceship. So, so I'm going to say spaceship, right? And every eye shall see him because the Lord is going to be on a spaceship the size of a mountain, man. And they also which pierced him. You see? Remember the Roman centurion pierced the Lord over 2,000 years ago? This is a reincarnation scripture, man. Those Roman centurions, they're back now. They died, they came. We go through this all the time. They died, they came back. They died, they came back. They died, they came back. They died, now they're back, right? And they're going to see the Lord. And they also, which pierced him. And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Scream, moan, holler. Because, look up the word well. That's what it goes into. Because of him, they're going to be terrified. 
even so, our money, then you remember, I don't know if you remember or not, but I think it was 1984, either 1983, Ronald Reagan said, and I'm saying it's going to be um, an invasion from, from, from some foreigners. You see, which the word alien means foreigners. You see, talking about the spaceships, man, talking about the Lord. And he said, all these governments are going to gather together. He said, we're going to have a common enemy. We're going to stop what we're doing, and we're going to fight our common enemy, which is the Lord, man. These people are, prepared, are getting prepared to fight the Lord. We say U.S. government has received more than 350 new so-called UFO reports, right? Let's read into it a little bit. They go, they go one right there. They go one right there. Let's, let's get into it. Bear with me. We're going to read into the article a little bit. What, what is the U.S. government has received over 350 new reports. New reports, Israel. New reports of what the U.S. government terms unidentified aerial phenomenon, UFO, but they identifiable flying objects. We know exactly what they are, man. The spaceships, they're the chariots of the Lord, right? Commonly known as UFOs. Since March of 2021, roughly half of which are so far explained. You can't explain it, man. It's not for you to explain. According to the report, the Pentagon offices res responsible for tracking and studying the sightings has pr primarily, primarily, no, say, identified 163 other reports as balloons, as balloon or balloon entities. Wrong. A handful of other reports have been attributed to drones, birds, weather events, or airborne debris like plastic bags. But essentially, character, characterization does not mean positively resolved or unidentified. The reports caution. And, and the remaining 171 reported sightings of UAP, UAPs or UFOs continue to be unexplained by the U.S. government. You can't explain it, man. You can't explain these vehicles, man. But look, this is the curse that go forth throughout the earth, man. You see? And then when we read the chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousand. And look, the Lord is among them. We're going to get a couple more scriptures and we're going to wrap it up. These are the angels of the Lord, man. This is exactly what this is. It's the angels of the Lord. We'll, we'll get that. See, look, look, watch, watching everything, man. The angels of the Lord are watching everything. Let's get this. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 3. Because the eyes of the Lord are the angels, meaning the chariots, right? Proverbs chapter 15. You people in trouble, man. You people are in trouble. The government is finally admitting that the so-called UFOs are real. All right? It's written all in the Bible, man. Just going right back to that movie with Tom Cruise. What is it? Um, War of the Worlds. You see? Had chariots shooting laser beams on people. They're just blowing shit up, man. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels. Are in every place, chariots everywhere, spaceships everywhere, beholding the evil and the good, man. Beholding the evil and the good, right? Bear with me. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, what they eagerly call UFO spaceships, are in every place. That's why we get we're getting getting more and more sightings. More and more videos every time we at camp, no say when we at home, walking down the street, driving, going to the grocery store, we look up, they go a chariot. You see, they go a spaceship just zooming through, flashing the lights and everything, man. Because the chariots of the Lord are everywhere, beholding the evil and the good. They're seeing everything that the government doing. They're seeing everything that the people on the earth doing. They're seeing everything, man. Everything. You can't hide nothing from the Lord. The Lord sees all. It says, it says the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, meaning the angels, man, are seeing everything. Amos chapter 9. Look, you see it. Amos chapter 9. You heard Ronald Reagan said. We got a common enemy, and, and, and once they come, you know what I'm saying, we need to band together. You, you heard what he said. What was it, 1983, 1984? Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, the spaceships, the UFOs, man, are upon this sinful kingdom, a.k.a. America. And I would destroy. So, so what are these vehicles, what are these spaceships coming to do? I, and I, to destroy, man. This is what these vehicles are coming to do. They're coming to destroy Babylon, man. And I would destroy that sinful kingdom and I would destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's why these people, they, they fascinated with the so-called UFOs, with the chairs, with the spaceships, man. They fascinated with it, man. They tracking them. Look, you, said, you already said they got teams set up just to just, just track them all day. People don't do nothing all day, but just try to track, you know what I'm saying, spaceships, so-called UFOs all day. You see, 
eyes wide the hell open, man. And I would destroy from off the face of the earth, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, man. So those spaceships are coming to destroy two thirds and you heathens over here in Babylon and deliver the elect, man. Remember the strangeness of their salvation. Let's just get that right quick. Let's just get that right quick. Wait, 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 look, any more pictures up here? Because you can read it to the article. NASA, NASA got their own space program, man. Na NASA announces team of scientists who will study mysterious UFOs events in the skies, man. You see? Hell. Wow, man. And they, they've been studying this for years, man. For years, man. NASA been studying this thing for years, man. They look, you, you can't deny it no more. You can't deny it anymore. That's why you got to report in them. That's why NASA has a report what they're seeing there. Because because everybody's seeing it. There. You can't deny it. You can't say it's a weather balloon. That's that's their go-to. That's a weather balloon. It was a bird. It was a plane. No, it was Superman. No, it was a chariot, man. It was a spaceship. Jeremiah chapter 16. Jeremiah chapter 16. Verse 14, and it reads, Therefore, behold, saith the Lord, it's like it. Therefore, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Because that's what everybody's talking about right about now. That first exodus, man, that great deliverance from ancient Pharaoh, right? Everybody's still talking about that, right? The Lord said they ain't going to be talking about that no more, right? They're going to be talking about this right here. But the Lord liveth. They brought up the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they don't make any from the land of the North, North America, man. Babylon the Great. And look, look, and from all the, that's why the chariots are going to flood the skies, right? And from all the lands where ye have driven them. You see, because remember, Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you're going to have chariots everywhere, man. You have spaceships everywhere delivering the election of the nation of Israel, right? And I will bring them again unto their land, the land of Israel, Jerusalem, that I gave unto their father. And it's going to be a beautiful event. That's going to be the greatest event known to mankind. That's going to be the greatest event known to mankind, man. Now, and I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. This is a curse that goes forth throughout the earth, man. You see? It's a curse that goes throughout the earth, man. Isaiah 66, this is my last one. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15, and it reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind. The UFO, the spaceships, that's how the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming in his spaceships, man. You see? Look, look, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Because simultaneously, you're going to have the ICBM missiles, millions of them, you know what I'm saying, hit this place. And simultaneously, the Lord, with his vehicles, his spaceships, the, the chariots are going to be shooting laser beams on this place, man. The Lord said, I'm coming to bring more fire on this place. So you ain't going to continue to be able to deny the ships, man. You can't keep denying the ships, man. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead, meaning judge with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. So you ain't going to be able to de keep denying it, man. They, they had to come out with it, man. You can't keep saying it's a bird. You can't keep saying it's a balloon. You can't keep saying it's a plane. It's the chariots of the Lord, and they coming to destroy this place, man. Shalom.